Hi everybody, welcome to Creative Studio Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today we will create the Flamingo. This one is my uh, prototype. Uh, the second one I created is uh, taken by my kids. They love them so much. So I will show you guys this a little bit too big prototype. Um, we will make the adjusted uh, smaller version of it. And I will make it in hot pink because I think that will look a little bit better than this soft pink tone. But it's up to you guys. You can make them uh, light pink or hot pink. It's up to you what you like best. Band count can be found in the description below this video. Subscribe to my channel uh, by clicking this YouTube play button here. Uh, to support me, uh, thumbs up if you like this video, of course. And let us start with this beautiful, cute pencil topper. Yes, uh, well, this bird doesn't have ears, or it has ears, of course, but you don't see them. So we don't have to loom uh, any ears uh, so far. We will start with the beak. Um, yeah. I will use white. You can also use a light pink for the beak uh, instead of white and use hot pink for uh, the head. Mm, that can be awesome also, I guess. Shall I do that right now? Uh, might look a little bit weird. You know what? I'm going to try that myself. Mm. I have some different types of pink here. Okay, this one is the lightest. But it has different colors. I think it will be a little bit weird. You know what? I'm just going to try anyways. Yeah, I will make the beak a light pink instead of white. Sorry for all the noise. Yeah, I will use light uh, pink for the beak. So use two bands at a time and place them on your loom the way I place them. I will make it a little bit shorter as my prototype. And as you can see, you can vary it in color just as you like. You can use white or either light pink for the beak. Now place one set of two bands in the center row. And I do think the rest will be double looped. Yes, so I will turn my loom. So I can double loop single bands the rest of the time. So a pink band or a white band, single double looped. And another one double looped. Also place two single double loops in the center row of your main beak color and two on the sides, single double loop. Then we will switch to black, a single black band double looped also in the center, single black band double looped and one on the other side. And then we will place diagonally single double loop black and also on the opposite side. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is about the size it needs to be. So grab a single black band, wrap it around four times around this peg here. One, two, three, four. Uh, then turn your loom and we're going to place a horizontal band, single double looped black here. Another single black above that, double looped. And then use pink or white, double looped single. And the rest will be with two bands at a time, so place two here to here. This will be uh, the top of the beak. So let us start looming. I will use my pink hook. 
my lucky hook. Get inside the cap band, loom over the first double loop band you come across, the second and the next. The rest will be simply looming up every row until you reach the end of your loom. Make sure not to grab any horizontal bands and really go behind them and only loom your placed sets. That's about it. Center row is always the easiest row to loom because there is hardly any horizontal band you can get stuck in there. Sides are a little bit harder. And a little bit more tight, of course, because of the horizontal bands. There we go. Now grab three different color bands. I will use white this time to tie off your work with. Make a slip knot so you can carefully remove this part from the loom. And then we can do the other part of the beak. I'm really curious how this will look. Look, because I will use light pink to create the beak this time instead of white. You can even use hot pink uh, throughout the whole flamingo. If you like to. There are red flamingos and when they are very young, they are, uh, well, they don't have that pink color at all. So you can really make many variations of this bird. And this will be the top of the beak. And it almost looks like white, to be honest. So, yeah, this will be awesome. So put this aside for now. And then we will continue with the bottom part of the beak. Also start with two bands at a time. And there we go. I'm going to place them on the loom also. And this will be a tiny bit longer. I'm not even sure what bands these are from Rainbow Loom. I think they were inside a mix, mixed pack of skin tone, I guess. Not sure. But I think it is, so I want to, yeah, one set of two bands in the center and the rest will be with double looped singles also. So turn your loom, this, these are two bands and the rest will be with singles double looped. So grab your pink or white and double loop. And another one. Same in the center row. Double looped singles go down two times and on the side as well. And then we will switch to black. So single black bands, double looped. And another one. Also two in the center row. And two single double loop bands on the side again. And then two diagonally placed single double loop bands in black. And place one single double loop black here. And then I will do count one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So place one single double loop black band here. And grab a single black band and cap this peg off by wrapping it around five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I will turn my loom so we can place the horizontal bands. A single black band double looped here. One above that. And one more single black double looped above that. And then grab your white or pink bands, single double looped. 
if I'm right. One, two, three, four. Yes, the rest will be with two bands at a time. So your pink or white bands place two here and two here. This will be the bottom part of the beak. I am enjoying my tea in between. I talk a lot, so I need to uh, drink uh, something during creating tutorials. Um, yeah, we're going to loom, guys and girls. We're ready. So go behind your cap band, loom over the first bands you come across. Uh, things will be slightly different, so continue looming. Grab the first diagonally bend here and the next. And then loom over the center once more. Um, now I do have to check. I have to. I ha did wrote this down. Yeah. Also loom up the sides once. That's why I'm recording this after designing it yesterday. So I won't forget what I did. So loom up until here and don't continue after these pegs. Now we need to attach the top of the beak. There is no back or front. Simply stick your hook through the cap band. Have those tying bands facing towards you and place it around this peg here. So not here, but where we norm normally will put it, but on this peg. Put it on there, tying bands facing towards you. Loom the entire center row. Because we can't reach it after attaching the sides of the beak. So this needs to be loomed entirely until the end of your loom. And there we go. Now we're going to flip over this uh, beak part and then we're going to attach it the same way as the other beaks but I will try to be as clear as possible in explaining how to attach it. So I have my loom on the side. This is black so it might be a little bit difficult to see. We have the cap band around this loom set and we're going to lo look for the first Diagonally place set here at the bottom and only grab the bottom two double looped bands here and place it onto the peg we just loomed up to, like this. Also do the same thing on the opposite side. So don't grab the cap band, but the first set you come across, grab the bottom two loops and attach it around here. Then we can loom one set further on both sides. Make sure you go behind all those bands and loom over one set. Then we're going to attach the next. So place the bottom two loops of the double loop set around the peg we just loomed up to. Same thing on the opposite side. Bottom two and loom once on each side. This will be a little bit tight, so we can now remove some part of the beak so we don't have to stretch the top part so far. So remove this a tiny bit from the loom and then we can continue with the next double looped set. That will be a pink or white set. Grab the bottom two loops and attach it around the back you just loomed up to. Bottom two loops, get it around there and loom one set on each side. There we go, remove some part of that beak again, preventing it from snapping. And the next set, that will be two, also double looped, not, not yet. So bottom two bends. Bottom two loops here. Bottom two loops, bends. So I hope you guys see what I'm doing. That's the most important thing, I guess. Sometimes I say things differently than I'm looming, but 
just try to see what I'm doing also. That's why I record this, otherwise this will be an audio a video only. Next, two loops around there. You can stretch it that far, you don't need to remove anything. These are two bands. Get it around there and loom up once more and then we are done with the big part. Yay! Grab your different color bands. Mine will be white since I'm making a pink beak. I changed before. I did I I didn't even want to make it pink, but I think it will look cool. And why not try something differently? I already have a flamingo with a white beak, so now I have one with a pink beak also. Remove this from your loom and then we will shape it a tiny bit, otherwise it will look a tiny bit weird. And make that black stripe inside the beak. You want to make this really uh, point downward, so we need to stick our hook through the sets in the center. You're actually following uh, the ho black horizontal band here on top. Stick your hook through and pull on everything, pull it upwards. You can actually put uh, quite some force on this, so pull upwards, remove your hook, and then you can actually see this part is already facing down. We need to do exactly the same thing at the bottom. So stick your hook through those sets in the center, follow that horizontal band and do the same thing. Pull up on those bands, remove your hook carefully and then it will face down. And then you kind of squish a bit on the tip. You can also make it curve more downwards by sticking through your hook here and also pull a bit on that and then you can kind of manipulate the way it curves squish on it a little bit so it will be round like this so we can shape it Okay, um, to create that uh, stripe here, you need some scissors for this tutorial and two black bands. You need to clip those two black bands so they are a little bit longer. And then we are going to make a knot at one end here. So hold it with your fingers kind of stretch it and simply make a knot. Doesn't have to be that neat. Like this. Now we are going to stick our hook through. Um, through here. Where the two parts of the beak are on top of each other in between the black bends. Stick your hook through completely and then we're going to pull this inside. That knot needs to be inside at the tip of the beak. And you need to pull through that entire black band. This can be a little bit tricky. So we need to pull that through and get that knot inside the beak. Don't pull it through too far. And otherwise stick it through with your, like this. So now we have two loose ends on both sides and the hair for my dog. So now we're going to stick our hook through approximately the, not the last set, but the set before that. You can stick it through here also, I guess. Yeah, stick it through here. These are the horizontal bands, and then we are going to pull through this band, like this. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So you need to look for approximately the same spot. 
we have three loops on top, three at the bottom, so this will be the center. Stick your hook through, these are the horizontal bands in between. Grab that black band and pull it through there, like this. Then we're going to do the same thing as we just did to tie it together. We're going to grab both of these black bands. You're going to pull on this a tiny bit, try to keep it on the side without a twist. So the lines will be straight on instead of twisted. Then we're going to pull on both of these bands, kind of pull tight. And then also make a knot with this. This can be a little bit tricky, but it's manageable. Pull tight. These are rubber bands, so you can pull on them to make them appear less tight. Try to keep them not there in the center of the beak. Like this, yeah, this looks awesome. And on the opposite side as well. Um, I will clip this off a tiny bit or pull it upwards a little bit to make it appear a little bit less tight. Yeah, this is better. Like this, and then we actually you can clip this off a tiny bit to make it a little bit smaller. Don't clip off the knot you just made. Like this, and this will be uh, inside the beak. You can hardly see it after we finished attaching it. So that will be creating that tiny stripe on the side of the beak. Like this and like this. And it won't go anywhere because it's tied off with a knot inside on two places. So put this beak aside for now. And then we can do the top of the flamingo head. I will use my hot pink for this. Two bands at a time. Top of the head will be very simple. You don't need to attach anything there besides making it pink. So all two bands. Now place two bands diagonally and two diagonally also. Then we're going to create the horizontal bands, also two bands at a time. We don't need to attach anything else. So this will be the top of the head. Tie off with a single pink band by wrapping it around four times. One, two, three, and four. And then we can loom. So go behind your cap band, grab the first two loops you come across, loom diagonally, get inside the cap band again, grab the next two, loom across, and the rest will be looming up the whole row until you reach the end of your loom. And then the sides. Make sure you go behind all your horizontal bands, only grab the bottom two loops, grab three different color bands. And tie off, make a slip knot with it. And carefully remove this part from your loom. For this top of the head thingy, it's, there is no back and front, so you just place it, put it apart for now or away for now. We will need it soon though. So we will create the middle portion of the head right now. Two bands at a time also. We need to create a hole here for the pencil topper. 
So place two diagonally and two diagonally on the opposite side. Let me go down. I don't even have to look at my diagram for this. This is the same on every creation of mine. Otherwise, that hole would shift. It, it can be if the, heads, the head needs to be longer on the back. Then the hole will be placed more to the front. For those who are designing themselves, maybe, or want to try designing themselves, um, feel free to try anything out if you like. Place two bands going down here. Um, no way to don't do that. Grab three. Three bands, place them in the center, and then we will make the eyes. The eyes will be placed here, so we just uh, as well can make them entirely without placing it on the loom. So grab your eye color band. Um, I did have to look for what eye color a flamingo has. They can be a little bit yellowish or orange, so you can choose to make yellow or orange eyes or if you want a flamingo with blue eyes, feel free to try that. So wrap around your eye color band twice. Grab a black band, wrap that around four times. And then grab that pink band, oh, pink, oh, yellow band again, and wrap that around twice also. Twice, yes. This will be one eye. Now grab your main body color, Bands that was why I was saying pink, they were in front of me, <laughs> and I looked at these bands. So, grab your two pink bands and then slide your eye onto there. And then we have kind of make it face to the side, and then we will place it uh, on this peg. Make sure your eye is facing outside your loom. They're picking up the garbage, so you can hear the big truck driving, I guess. And create a second eye and place it on the opposite side. Make sure the eye is facing uh, outwards. And don't place your bands like this, then the eye is facing inwards, it needs to be placed like this. Or turn that eye when you place it, so it faces outwards, otherwise it will look really weird. Like this, make sure that cross is on the inside. That will be fine, the band is a little bit twisted, but you won't see it anyways. Okay, grab your beak. This will be done. We're going to attach the top three sets. So try to pretend those bottom three sets are in there. I'm going to place the top three of the beak. And the beak is facing right side up. So stick your hook through the set in the center and attach it around the peg in the center where we place those three bands. And then grab the sets, set on the left, attach it around the eye peg, try to find the top set on the right, not the bottom. Pull on it a bit so you can follow the tying band and stick your hook through correctly and attach it around here. Remove the tying bands of the out side parts only then lift up the top two loops of the sets here and leave them on your hook because we're going to place a horizontal band in between use your light pink color or the white the color from the beak and attach it push down if needed attach a horizontal band in between and replace those loops of the beak like this and then we can loom uh, or not uh, 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 uh. 
gosh, I didn't do I have to check on my other designs for now. No, that's correct. Yeah, grab the top of your head also. I forgot I wrote it down. Uh, have it um, like this. So those tying bands are facing towards you. Stick your hook through the first set in the center. So not the cap end, but the first set here. Try not to get in between the horizon horizontal bands. I was in between. So make sure you have it on your hook like this. Check on top of you if you have two loops on both sides of your hook. Tying bands are facing towards you. Now go inside this peg here where there are three bands and get them on your hook. Like this, then slide over that head part, hold it with your fingers and loom those three bands. Then go inside here and loom diagonally. And also diagonally on the opposite side, yes. Uh, then we can uh, just let this be, you can it will stand up straight, that's fine. Then loom the eye part on both sides. Try to go behind all those bands, only grab the bottom two eye bands and loom over. Then loom over again on both sides. Loom diagonally only and then stop looming. Like this. Remove some part of the beak now, otherwise we need to stretch it way too far. Remove the eye part a tiny bit. Yeah, I guess this will be uh, good enough. Um, yeah. Now you kind of need to flip over this piece on top of the head because we need to attach those three loose ends to those three packs here. I always start in the center because that is the most easy set to attach. Simply loom over the bottom two loops. Do the same thing on the sets on the side. Get it around there. Only grab the bottom two loops, loom over. Same thing on the opposite side. Follow the tying band so you have all the loops on your hook correctly. And then loom over this last set. You can actually reuse these three tying bands. So create slip knots again with them. And then all there is left to do is the bottom part of the head. And attaching the beak, bottom part of the beak, of course. So carefully remove this from your loom. This will look really weird. Half a flamingo head. Pull upwards those three bands you pulled through here. Wait, my tying band is in there. Remove the tying band also. Yeah, that looks better already. Pull upwards those three bands you pull through the top of the head. So it will be less tight. Yay, this is awesome. With a light pink beak, this really is awesome. You might want to pull those eyes a bit to the back. So pull a little bit on those pink bands in front of the eye and pull that eye back a tiny bit. Yeah, this really is awesome. Cool. Okay, then we're going to create the bottom part of the flamingo head. So, um, yeah, let us continue. Two bands at a time with your uh, pink color. I'm really curious what kind of colors you guys will use. 
So let me know in the comments below if you create a uh, pink or even a red uh, flamingo. Two bands at a time. And now we're going to place two diagonally and two diagonally again. And go down on each side with two bands at a time. We need to close this hole, so diagonally again, and two diagonally on the opposite side, then place two straight on on each row. There we go, grab two more pink bands and create a triangle here. That will be a horizontal band, and grab the part of your already created flamingo. Have it right side up, kind of flip over that head. You can even use a tying band to keep it that way. Get that around the beak. And we're only going to use the bottom three sets to attach to those three pegs here. So we'll start in the center. Get it around. And also do the same thing with the sets on the side. Make sure you stick your hook through correctly. Follow that tying band that is there. Attach it. This is a little bit difficult to see maybe, but get it around there. Look for that other set here at the bottom. Pull on it a bit to see how you need to stick your hook through. Follow the tying band. If you can completely see the tying band, you are through. Correct. Get it around there. And then remove the tying bands here on the side. Lift up only the top two loops on the sets on the side only. Let them be on your hook. Then grab two pink or white bands to create a horizontal band in between and replace those loops around the same pegs. And there we go. And then we will loom the center set first. And you can remove that tying band already. There we go. And then loom diagonally on both, well, both sides. And then loom up once on the side. And then we will attach um, some part of the head. So get that tying band from the beak, if you did use the same technique as I did, and get it flipped the right side. So this will be the top of the head, like this. And then grab the two bands, bottom two bands, behind the eye. This will be the eye set. Don't grab those bands there. Don't grab the horizontal bands, but grab the set behind the eyes, only the bottom two loops and get that around this bag. Do the same thing on the opposite side. <coughs> oh, they flipped off. Well, I will loom them. So, bottom two loops from the set behind the eye, and then you can loom if you want to prevent it from coming off. Loom upwards, do the same thing on the opposite side. Look for the set, the two, bottom two loops behind the eyes and get it around the back here. We just loomed up two and loom. Now it can't come off anymore and if it does, it doesn't matter. So loom diagonally on both sides. A lot of bands there. Loom up once on each row. And then remove the bottom part from 
the loom a tiny bit, otherwise we need to stretch it too far. There we go. One set further. Yes. And then all there is left to do is attaching those three loose sets to those three pegs here. So pull on it a bit to see how the tying band is through. Attach it around there, loom over, and do the same thing on the side sets here. Also pull on them a tiny bit and see how that tying band is through. Follow it and attach it and loom over the last set. Same thing here. Get it around there. Loom over the last bands. Remove those tying bands if you want to. You can also leave them and tie off, but I will remove them this time. And then I guess I already removed all my tying bands this time. So all there is left to do is creating slip knots with the last placed sets. So get the bottom two loops through the top two and pull tight. And do this with every last set we just loomed. I'm holding my thumb on all the bands so they won't curl up too much if I pull on those slip knots. So pull through and pull tight. There we go. Remove your finished flamingo pencil topper from your loom. Oh, this is so awesome with that light pink. As big. It looks way better than that white, to be honest. Don't you guys think? Oh, give back my hook. Yeah, this is so awesome. Pull a bit on those eyes so they will be facing outwards, outside the head. And not inside. Squish a little bit on that beak. Oh, this, this looks so awesome. Really? I love it with that pink. Can you see the difference? Can you? It's hard to see, but it's just, yeah, it looks way better. We're going to hide those bands inside here. So stick your hook through that hole you loomed and pull through those bands we tied off. You can do this randomly or try to find the best way for you you think is possible to pull it through. get both loops on your hook and pull it through. Try not to get stuck in between. I am stuck here. There is a... Yeah. No, I'm not. So... And then go inside that beak here and just grab those loops from inside that hole and pull on it a tiny bit. Kind of hide them inside the hole. Like this. Kind of squish on it. You can make your own squishy this way. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Oh, this really is awesome. I like this one so much better. Um, grab a pencil. Again, I got them back from my kit, so I have two of these again. Stick it through. Oh, this is so, so, so much better. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed creating this. Can you see the beak? It's a tiny bit smaller. This looks better, in my opinion. And otherwise, you can always um, make it this big if you like to by simply adding two bands uh, when we start creating the beak. So, guys, I really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And I will put it out extra because I like you guys very much. And um, 
well, just spread the word that I'm actively looming again and um, every plus 100 subscribers there will be an extra bonus video and I might even make it so that I will do a, a whole uh, 3D loomed animal as bonus video every 100 subscribers. Um, because that probably won't go as fast. So I have time to take a long time about uh, creating whole animals. And I simply don't have the time to do that uh, for everything I design. And I love designing hats the best. So, um, but it will probably be a good idea to start with and do one whole 3D loomed animal video with every plus 100 subs, so subscribe if you haven't done it already, um, blah blah, <laughs> you know uh, what I say in almost every video. I just hope you enjoyed looming this and enjoy my tutorials and want to see more and a thumbs up if you do and uh, show me pictures on Instagram, tag me uh, if you want to or post uh, pictures on Facebook and um, tag me. That would be awesome, so I can uh, leave a nice comment for you guys. Uh, thank you for following me if you are already subscribed and supporting me for a long period of time. Awesome. Without you guys, this couldn't be uh, done. So, I hope you enjoyed this and like I put this out as an extra video again. See you guys in my next video. And... You can find many links in the description below my video, so check those out as well. And have fun. Be creative. Bye-bye.